Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Today we are not talking about bourbon. We are doing Australian whiskey, mate, from 78 Degrees Distillery down in Australia, down under, mate. Where was it? Where was this S at the Hay Valley S A? What's S A? I don't know if it's in Victoria, somewhere in Victoria. Victoria. So my brother-in-law, whose voice you just heard brought this for me from Australia, along with the Upshot, which we featured in another video. Let me, <sighs> you know, generally I hate take opening bourbons or whiskeys that I'm probably never gonna get again, but you know what? He's here. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Beethoven. <laughs> and if I like it, hey, we'll see if he maybe brings me back some more. Um, although they living, he and my, and his parents live in California. I'm here in Ohio. Screw top. Um, very nice. So let me just see how this goes here. Now, um, today I'm doing this on a Sunday afternoon. Um, and the distillery is like 14 hours ahead of us time wise so um i sent out a a little facebook messenger message to them but i haven't heard back because it's like three in the morning over there right now but um here's what i found out so first off 78 degrees that is the temperature in celsius that is the boiling point for alcohol for us here in the States, that's 172 degrees Fahrenheit. I think 78 degrees sounds a little bit better. Um, this is muskrat, I'm saying musket, muscat, um, finished in muscat wine barrels. It is 88 proof. It is a malt, malted barley whiskey but there's other like malted grains that are in there. So it's not a single malt. It says other malt selections added. These are aged. This is aged in red wine casks, the musket, muscat casks that have been shaved back, recharged, recharged, recharred. Anyway, so aged in that. That's all I got. All I got for you. Um, so let's see what we got. I like the color of it in the bottle. Came in a nice matching box, which is over there. I have it in the title of the the title card. Um, let me let that breathe for a few minutes. So I'll just read some stuff off the bottle because we don't really get this here in the States. It says our fortified series takes our 78 degree Australian whiskey uh, and allows it time to further mature in casks that previously held some of Australia's finest fortified wines, especially malts, biscuit, supernova, redback, brown, and shepherd's delight, especially malts. Um, this is in a 700 milliliter bottle, and like I said, 88 proof. And um, unlike here in the States, I guess, I believe the standard bottle in other countries including Australia is 700 milliliters rather than 750. So there we go. Um, I like you know the color is a nice meat like a medium brown kind of reminds me of uh, well, like cinnamon little brown sugar. Whoa that's interesting. <laughs> trying to place the smell of course as you know all know this is a hood ornament and I don't pick up all the smells that's what my wife says they're laughing they know it's true <laughs> um, it a actually here hold on what do you smell I don't smell anything oh he don't, he's got the hood ornament too <laughs> But it, it has a little, like, to me, it's a savory smell. I want to say kind of like, kind of reminds me of like a brown sugar ham in a way. It's got like that, a smoky, sweet smell to it. So there we go.
brown sugar ham. Whoa. That is interesting. First off, Johnny, my brother-in-law, did not know this. I'm not a huge fan of malted whiskey. Um, but he did try a few before he brought stuff over, and this is one of the ones he selected. And I gotta say, he did a good job. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, so I am getting, of course, the malted barley flavor, but then from it maturing in those wine casks, it takes it takes on a whole different flavor profile that complements the malt, but doesn't make it taste like like a malted whiskey, like totally malted whiskey. Um, gives it some sweetness and spiciness, and that is wow. That's another really good whiskey. Who would have thought out of Australia? Well, you know, every country's got their own type of whiskeys. And I've never really, I've never had an Australian whiskey until this and the, um, the upshot that I tried earlier in another video. But it is re really decent. It is a whiskey, I would say... Wow, it's got spice, but then it just, it has like a, kind of like a fatty feel, mouth feel on it. Something that would definitely comp be compl compliment, like, like a rib dinner or pork. Um, definitely ha like a ham dinner. It's got spiciness, all those kind of really good sweet and savory flavors that you get out of a really good like I'll just say like a ham dinner or something it doesn't taste like ham but it comp is complimentary really nice it's got meatiness to it it's a little sweet it's a little savory it is not like any whiskey I've had before and I've I don't think there's any whiskey here in the states that could even be comparable to it um, I don't know if it is available here in the States at all. I did check their Facebook page, and apparently, uh, like, in some areas of the country, they get or have access to some of the spirits, like they have gin and, I think, vodka and other, another whiskey. But this is really pretty good. Um, again, not like anything I've had before. So uh, my recommendation is that if you are someone who travels internationally, not me, but if you are someone who travels internationally and you go to, to uh, Florida, Australia, um, I, sample it. And if you like it, pick up a bottle. It's really a nice, different whiskey that, uh, it's, it's made to be sipped. Um, I wouldn't put it in like a cocktail and, and drinking it straight is, I mean, pretty satisfying. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, Johnny, for bringing this and the upshot <laughs> back to the States for the whiskey den. So, that is good. Again, I'm not a fan of malt whiskey, but this has such, on that last drink, just a nice sweetness to it. It Pretty elegant, uh, really a nice whiskey. So uh, I can't say too much more about that. It's also something, okay, so pork, rib, ham, dessert, like after your meal, if you want to kick back with something as a dessert whiskey, that to me is perfect for that. And again, it's unlike anything I've had before, so I can't really equate it to anything else that's here on the shelf. So there we go, 78 degrees, Muscat Finish Whiskey, out of, uh, where did you say, Perth? No, Victoria. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria Australia. So there you go. Um, really, I'm kind of speechless on it. 
I can't really define it. It's just a really good whiskey. So uh, there you go. Enough said. So until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon. Thanks so much for watching, and good day, mate! Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.